a quick preamble. If you're a regular reader of my rants, then you already know my opinions when it comes to frankenfoods, and specifically the worst frankenfood of them all, sugar. With high fructose corn syrup HFCS being the most dangerous, and I am certain that you also know by now that I never express my opinions unless I am certain they have good grounding, my own experience, solid evidence or documented slash video proof, provided by physical and scientific study. Well all the lies, denials and duplicity that has been created, enforced and encouraged by Big Sugar for decades are being further exposed. The hidden secrets of the effects of all the extra sugar and HFCS added into our foods are becoming the public property that they always should have been. Yup, though it's been known by some of us for years, it's becoming even clearer. Heavily processed and refined sugars are definitely playing a massive role in the cause of obesity, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's and cancer, not to mention the many other health disrupting ailments that are certain to be affecting your teeth, blood flow or your gut. And if it makes you fat, it should be more than obvious that this poison has the ability to endanger your health in many other ways, and it most definitely does. Cutting to the chase. What they wanted hidden. Insulin resistance. In your muscles equal type 2 diabetes. In your brain equal Alzheimer's disease. In your liver equal fatty liver disease non-alcoholic. In your peripheral nervous system equal neuropathy. In your ovaries equal polycystic ovary disease. Cancers of all types. Sugar is cancer's greatest friend. It increases your chances of developing cancer. And if you already have cancer, it will feed on the sugar you consume and things will go from bad to worse. The scare tactics a peek at the sneak. While nutritional ignorance, encouraged by the big food and big sugar corporations, can be understood and forgiven, the same cannot be said for the food industry itself when it has clearly known and has definitely discussed the links between processed foods and chronic diseases for many past decades and has subsequently downplayed, vilified and ignored them for the sake of market shares and cash. 1999, the city of Minneapolis, USA, saw a gathering of the CEOs, very rare as they would more normally be fighting each other, for bigger cuts of the marketplace of America's largest food and beverage companies, actually the world's best known brands. They were bluntly presented with all the evidence and proof of the deadly realities of sugar by two of their own who were actually seeking more funding so they could carry out further studies of the sugar slash disease links, thus improving the lot of the food industry, big food were, and still, are risking the same type of trials that the tobacco industry faced back in the 50s. The two guys presenting the facts were berated and ignored. Money outweighed the health risks of the world populace, Wall Street etc. was far more important. And how about this? From the mid-1950s right through to the mid-1990s, the tobacco industry faced major litigation procedures. For zero plus years of fines, lawsuits and law changes, all after it was proved that the tobacco industry worldwide had carried out a decades-long campaign of lies, denials and duplicity. Regarding the health-destroying risks inherent in the products they were selling to the public, sounds familiar, right? Investigations undertaken by the very best of investigators, including a top attorney who was previously involved in the tobacco litigations, have revealed that the food industry slash sugar industry have been copying the self-same insidious, self-serving tactics that the tobacco industry had been using all those years ago, damn scary. Could they be any more dishonorable? Um, yes, actually. Back in 1972, a British nutritionist, Dr. John Yukin, who had been studying the effects of refined sugar for something like 30 years as it gained power and impetus in the food industry, wrote a book called Pure White and Deadly. He scared the Sugar Association so badly that they resorted to long, painful and extremely successful smear campaign that ruined Dr. Yukin's reputation and brought sugar research as a whole to a complete halt. 
and many years down the road, the white paper that the Sugar Association presented as proof that poor old John was a quack and that sugar was healthy and necessary. Sugar in the diet of man was found to have not only be filled with false information, but it was also found that the Sugar Association themselves had funded it, and they made it look as though it was the result of an independent study, and the world accepted it, sad. But good news. The studies are back in full force, and what was hidden is being in hiding. For big sugar and big food, the day of reckoning is close. A final anecdote. The basic premise is simple. If you want to avoid sickness and disease, avoid the poison. Avoid sugar at all costs. There are natural alternatives that won't destroy your health. Don't be deceived at your supermarket. Don't trust the food industry. Check the content lists of everything you take off the shelf. You'll be amazed and shocked at how much sugar has been added to the products you purchase, even the healthy foods. And it doesn't just end there. Artificial sweeteners are also killing people. Stop. There's a great video at this point at the Natural Health Sniper site. Go check it out if you have time. There's a whole lot more detail than I've written here. It's scary. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk.